Hello everybody, welcome to a new uh, modern video. We are playing more Preordain decks today and uh, I want to take a small moment to uh, thank you for watching and uh, also that if you haven't done yet, remember to uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, you know interact and whatnot. I have um, uh, the, the, the person that makes my thumbnail also now does the timestamps. So on this YouTube video you will see the different uh, matchups as well as of course the timestamps. So you know, uh, some nice extra um, uh, content, I don't know, extra things uh, for you to take a look at. So, you know, if you're liking and enjoying the content, uh, yeah, stick out and uh, follow the channel. All right, what are we playing today? We are playing an Indomitable Creativity deck, which we have been first known about it for a while now. But at the same time, this deck has not done well recently, with Lord of the Ring just giving it zero new cards and just the metagame in general getting Orc and uh, the ring, which are both pretty good against this deck. Um, so yeah, the deck did poorly at the PT. Um, it did poorly at every, most 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 of other events as well. So there's time for to reinvent, just like the Team Handshake reinvented Tron at the last PT. And if you want to uh, listen to the podcast uh, that we, me and Javier, uh, uh, Anthony and Simon Nielsen made uh, last week, check it out because there's a lot of knowledge about how to, uh, to, to, to build a modern deck. Um, True Hero, you know, one of the best players in the world right now, has also uh, reinvented uh, the, 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 this, this creativity archetype lately. And uh, what has he done uh, this week? And he finished ninth in the Showcase Challenge. He was 7 1, lost the last round, and finished ninth. Uh, that was a very important uh, tournament on Magic Online. And he was playing this, uh, yeah, this creativity deck with a lot of different things that we used to see. So, creativity, we used to see it with. Uh, um, Renan 6 and Teferi, this deck has none of them. We used to see with 24, 25 land, this deck has 22. What changed? Uh, well, Preordain got printed. Uh, Preordain is uh, one of the best cantrip in Magic, alongside with Ponder and Brainstorm. I've already done many videos with Preordain, my last four videos with Preordain in Modern uh, on my YouTube channel. They all went very well, so I'm assuming that people love to see new content with Preordain, so I'll keep them coming for now. Uh, there's also counter spell and force of negation, so cards that you really do not see in the creativity ever. Then you have the classic Fable, Prismari, uh, Creativity Archon, of course. Uh, there's also Art Evidence, which used to be here at the beginning of creativity with Image 2, but then just got cut in general. You have Through the Breach as a B plan. Trihiro loves B plan whenever he builds modern decks. So, you know, uh, if your opponent has a removal spell as at the ready, like an orc or whatever, lightning bolts, and you can't target your tokens, you can uh, put into play the Archon even end of turn. Because remember, the word the wording on this card is uh, you just go end of, uh, end of your opponent's turn, you play Through the Breach, you get the Archon in play, and then you have to sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. So you get to attack with it. So you still get two triggers, ATB and attack. Uh, once again, 22 lands, which do not seem very many to me, but you have iterations and preordain to help your thing. And then cyborg, it's very much an easy cyborg with anti-cascade, anti, you know, scam and whatnot, anti-tron. I love flame slash actually. When my teammates played creativity at the PT, uh, one flame slash was uh, very much uh, uh, like the addition there. So Bardo Zudan, since Amartine came back, Amartine won the showcase, it's firmly back in modern right now. The metagame is very friendly to Amartine at the moment with, uh, uh, you know, Scam Rhinos and Tron being the most popular deck. So, you know, if you if you struggled with Amartine before, uh, Four Color Omnath and whatnot are now, are now very, very small compared to what was... Um, I guess when the ring came out. Okay, let's begin. Round number one. I'm keeping. But I have Basic Island in my deck. I don't want to start with Basic Island because I'm still a Ford Dwarven Mine deck. Lord Crypt, okay, is that scam? They do. All right.
Okay, so they made their marquee play of uh, Grey Fandang Malice taking my Bolt and Fire Ice. I'll crack the clue end of turn and then we'll see. I mean, right now I obviously have nothing going on, but there's draw steps, which can shape up my plan. The deck also plays for uh, expressive iteration, which uh, normal uh, creativity deck does not play, and also for preordaining. So, hopefully, we'll be able to quote unquote top deck later in the game more often. Putting goes Fury Pitch Fury, and I'm assuming they are able to scam this one as well. This will be tough now. Let's see if I draw Force of Negation. Hmm. Come on, join the yellow hat. Congrats on your uh, result. Or your poker result, if I'm not mistaken, right? Finished second in a important tournament. That was a, that was a cool to, to, to follow on Twitter. All right, I feel like if I top that creativity, I'll be able to put up a fight here. Cats. I have a clue token. I just need to top the creativity. I'll be able to put up a fight. What do you think of the mirror ring control? Did you check out my last video I posted on YouTube? It was, I believe, last Saturday. I took the list of area MTG and did I felt good? I believe he also top four the challenge yesterday, so. Thoughts is the last card? Ragavan. Creativity. All right. Is it GG or is it BG? More of a BG than a GG. I don't have any more art evidence. And if it prismar into a lining bolt, I guess I can just go whatever. Just make a token and kind of chump block fury. Draw this card and we'll see. Do I, not, do I prefer making a token or killing this? I can kill that and survive. I'm actually surviving here. Yeah, I'm surviving here. I'll deal two damage and draw this card. I don't want to counter so. Hey, I want to hold on Archon because I do play the throw the bridge card in my deck. Still alive here, although actually I can't fetch. So maybe I was supposed to... Well, it doesn't really matter, honestly, what I kept there. I'm not gonna be able to cast any of these cards anyway. All right, creativity, and we're in the game. All right, GG. Okay, so playing a scam, uh, definitely one Flame Slash and probably Brother Azuda as well. Definitely one Stern Scolden. Uh, bad cards against Kama are Force of Negation. I'm assuming Counter Magic is bad. And I'll go Brotherhood. I remember when playing Creativity in Pioneer, two heroes siding in Brotherhood against Rack this mid range. Although that deck had. Uh, Loctite Harvester and Fable. I feel like it's fine. I think I'm gonna go with Brotherhood. You want Emrakul? Cool. Why? I didn't play any Cranial. Because they can't deal with it. Yeah, but like you mentioned, they are Hiflip Emrakul. Cool. the game. Where's Hiflip Arkan? I survive. I think the Sabra was made uh, like this. The plan, Sabra plan was made like this against Cam. Basically, like anything that can kill a four three grief should be should should come in. 
All right, I still would have died. That's true. I forgot about. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yes. This one's bad, but I'm playing a scam. I can't. I can't mulligan. I can't mulligan in general in Magic, but especially when I'm playing a scam. These Archons will be discarded off Prismari Command. If opponent discards the Prismari Command, you know, it's it's okay. This, this is not, like, people love to say, like, oh, this is Mulligan to 5. But not really, because Prismari Command gets rid of those and you replace them. So. It's a 7 card end, if you resolve this card. Of course, if you don't, then it's bad. But if you Mulligan, that's for sure a Mulligan to 6. And that could also be a Mulligan to 5. Only one Archons left in the deck. Obviously, there's a world where you are cast. Unlikely, but you know, it's a possibility. I wonder what is the rule. If I go... Hmm. Well, I drew a very good card there. Hmm. I might just ignore Dothi as well here. Just Prismaric might make a treasure so I can target it with Cartivity. It's probably better. If they go like Thoughtseize, I can just Prismaric and kill the Dothi in response. That way they can't uh, cast my card. I wonder actually what's the ruling. If I kill the Dothi and this card, the card will still have a silver counter in the Exile Zone. Yes. All right, but they just simply attack, so. If they play Blood Moon, they play Explosives. Well. Man, I, I wish this Prismaric man could do all the all the modes, honestly. When I kill Dothi, kill Explosive, draw this card, make a treasure. I just want to do everything here. Uh, I can't. Uh, 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 I definitely don't want to kill Dothi because they could have the scam effect. Entwine it, right? <laughs> So I, I think I want to kill the explosives and just draw this card. I think that's going to be my play. Nah, yeah, yeah. I don't make the treasure, but I think I have to do that. Like, this hand is just too bad. and I need to... There's Mark Command. Very good. Two Archon in Exile Zone, so we need to kill this Dothi. Or else they get to cast our Archons. Okay, so my opponent could Art cast um, Grief. I may want to go iteration here. I think they will Arcas Grief, so I'm just gonna ice their land. Hello, Pony. You can also do Blood Moon. Thankfully, they don't. Yeah, they kept a very weak hand compared to the first one. Let's just cast the anti scam card here. I think I'm gonna go Island Fable in this spot. Remember, I only have one arc on him in my deck. Two are exiled. 
Now they can cast grief and get rid of my creativity, but I think that's okay. Hmm. Both Delta go. Engineer, thank you. Welcome, welcome, for engineer. Appreciate the support. All right, I need to draw this card, but I actually don't really want to. I think my hand's good. Let's go to combat. I don't want to discard Archon. I feel like this might be a world where our cast, my opponent isn't doing anything. Oh, nice. I'll go for sure Disney Hand. I guess I can just cast for his mark in it. Hand, bottom, exile. Play this. Uh, draw to this card to make a treasure. I don't like Bolt. Man, I love everything. I don't... <laughs> I guess I'm discarding two Preordains. I wonder what was my point in hand here. Did I mulligan? Maybe. Ragavan dashed. I'll let him attack me. I don't think there is anything uh, particularly nasty. Fable's okay. They go Fable, I just criteria to my treasure. <clears throat> Why not bold the monkey? I think the point in hand is full of the scam effect, but plus, like, I really don't care if they attack me with Ragavan. Like, what's the worst that can happen? That one probably fable, but still. He is an extremely, extremely good spot I find myself in. Terminate. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Another fable, cracking all my treasures. All my treasures are being cracked. Hello, Lupo, bonjour, no? We can go through the breach and copy Arkham with reflection. No, I guess we're not going to copy the Archon with Reflection. We're going to simply throw the Breach and Archon into play. A very simple play. I guess a one card in hand. 
for three breach the arc. No, I guess I guess they're dead too. The trigger of three the arc. Oh boom. Oh yeah, that ragabond dash. I forgot. GG. But it did not scam us and uh, was not successful. Let's see if game three they will start with a turn one grief. My name is Pooley. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, I think that the sideboarding is correct. So I'm just submitting back. Mm. All right, I have a question that my, my Twitch chat might know the answer. I have this t-shirt somehow that I don't even know when I bought it. That says, Bespoke Edit. Does, does it mean anything? I remember already asking this question, but I don't remember the answer at all. You guys know if this, this thing means anything? It means personalized editing. You spoke in Sumizu. Oh. Oh, I understand. Okay, thank you. See? What was asked Twitch chat when in doubt? What right? We got two express iteration. All right, let's go. Where is the grief? No grief. All right, let's play Art Evidenza, the best anti Ragavan tech from the same set. They made the the um, the virus and the cure, the same set. The crab token is the cure. Virus, cure. No grief. I guess they could have the orc. No, don't play the orc. Orc would be annoying, especially since I have preordained in my hand. Okay. Well, they clearly don't have Orc. It feels so good. So good it feels. To play some legacy level cantrips, finally, in modern as well. I think I'll just go with this pass, yeah. I don't want to leave up old. My opponent clearly doesn't have an answer to crowd. He might draw it, but sure. They go Bloodman. I mean, I have an island, but can't do much outside of that. It's important that I don't play island, though, because I have a dwarf with mine in my deck. So I you know, want to play island only after the first three lands, basically. Could be Fable too. I'll block opponent, I'll block. Hmm. Hey, do I want to play Expressive? I think I'm just gonna crack the clue here. Yeah. Why don't I maybe hit Land of expressive iteration, I don't know.
Do you have grief? I'm bold for grief. Oh, a grief evoked. Then I guess they have to discard bold first. And then scam it. Which brings us the question. Should I have cracked the clue before? Because I have a uh, stern scolding. Probably not, but should I crack the clue now since I could draw a lightning bolt? Maybe yes. Like obviously if I draw a card they are able to see it, but like my hand is very good anyway. So I think I'm risking it. And if I draw a lightning bolt, I get extremely rewarded. Yeah, let's do it. It didn't matter. So this card out Iteration, very likely. They only have one card in end. Block, 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 block. I love that they attack every time. Ooh, I drew the line bolt. Nice. So iteration. Perfect. Hand. Bottom, exile the mountain, play the mountain, pass. Then I'll just bold the grief uh, in their upkeep so that they less likely to draw another scam effect slash attack. It land. That is fury. Ay, ay, ay. So they flip off my deck, hopefully not to preordain. Iteration, the fourth one. Alright, they can, they can cast that one. I have two lightning bolts and two flame slash. And also I have a broad resume end. I can I can take an attack there. Let's go iteration. Brotherhood. This is real bad. I think I need to fire ice the um, the Ragavan. I'm gonna wait the combat phase so that it can draw another Ragavan. And even if they scam this, it's okay. Eight, I'm oh, sorry, ten. They drew grief. Okay, instead of brothers, who it is a great top deck, or even throw the breach is a great top deck. That would be by far the best top deck. Oh, they discard art evidence. Okay, to the breach. Boom. Preordain digs three cards deep. So good. And uh nine plus okay, nine damage that is. Alright. Can still top deck. I'd agree fear is great draw because the heart of would have kept the fury at bay for one more turn. And we die. GG. GG. It's okay, good game though. We tried our best, I think. All right, and solid. Uh, how do I want to start here? 
I think it's Briardane. I'm looking for a second island to hold up maybe Counterspell. Events and tapped, preordained. I'll bottom both. I'm gonna pass. Forest, Elvish Mystic. Don't know what that is, but the elf is gonna die. I know what the dead is. Musa Jete always was elf, I just realized. Core Master. Looking for land drops. Okay. Hand, bottom, exile. Can I go ahead and bolt the War Master? Yeah. Maybe not though. I guess yeah, I can just target my my dwarf. I guess I could wait. Fair Ranger. Two cards left. Mm. Brutal curve of uh, Bolt Bolt Arcan of Cruelty on the play. Pretty hard for the elf deck to beat. It's like Musajete. No, okay, he's back. Temple Garden, okay. Mm. Oh, great. I don't expect the uh, Orvar anymore in people's sideboard. He can do the same sideboarding as I did against Cam. Yeah, seems good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello, Anella. No, I suggest you to not play Search of Attraction in a modern. Okay, we have the turn four creativity. Might be too slow against the elves, but we'll see. Certainly not Molly gonna hand up three lands for spells. Hmm. I think this is not that big of a problem. Brain. Okay. All lightning bolt this. Oh, if they name lightning bolt, it's annoying. We just go land fable and we'll see. Like, not only we have through the breach, I guess they might name Archon. So, yeah, we only just, um, oh, so again, discard creativity to fable and so on and so forth.
All right, they creativity. Uh, sorry, they stone brained away all my creativities. Sorry, all my archons, but it's no problem because we got rid of the uh, creativity with Fable, and then eventually we will uh, win the game with Fable and and stuff. Or worst case scenario, we lose the game. It's also no problem. Oh, good. Okay. Possession by Fable, wow. It doesn't want me to... But it doesn't want me to get rid of the... Creativities. Huh. I think I like the... Both, both of these cards, yeah. Is on 12, we got two canopy at four power. No, Yevi Maya, gonna make the canopy a uh, painless now. It's gonna make them into basic forest. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, it looks like they pass here. I think they have uh, the um, Company. Okay. And bottom exile. I think I don't care about two life. Might be a mistake. But fire eyes to kill the creatures they put in play with company. Wow, they don't put anything into play. Buongiorno, Kuto. Five. Ooh, is that a chord? What's that? Yeah. All right. Let's see what I put into play. Oops, I don't have a stop block. I do that. Leaf ground visioneer. Whenever you cast an elf spell. Well, since it triggers on cast, uh, I don't want them to draw cards, so I'll just fire them. The trying is to art cast the archons. Cards in end. Fire. Do it two life. I'll uh, cycle this. Boom. All right, chat as always. If you play Crane Extraction, you lose the game. Remember the rules. If you play a spell that lets you eat four mana and going card disadvantage, the chances you are winning the game in a game of modern are very thin. Okay, keep. Island go. Hmm. What does that mean? Island go. I don't know. Uh, don't want force. Although island might mean uh, living end. Yeah, island might mean living end. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sniped. We sniped the opponent deck. What deck can start with Island? It's so likely. It's so small, the chances of it. Anyway. Um, mm, is Art Evidence good? Only oh, there's a pitch. Although next turn I'm gonna play Fable, so unlikely I'm gonna cast this iteration. Our evidence is it good? Nah, it doesn't seem good. I'll hold it as a pitch. Or you just hold this card to this. Like you, you this matchup they don't really have removal spell, so your dwarf is um safe. All right, that's a good one. Uh, I think I want to pass simply because my opponent. Maybe I do play Art Evidence now. Yeah, now I do play Art Evidence. If the opponent doesn't do anything end of turn, I'll crack the clue to draw to go out burst. It's still a four speech iteration. All right, cycle end of turn, get a tap land, no, untapped, okay. Cycle end of turn, Oliphant, Oliphant, Oliphant. Mm. Do I want to go Steam Vents? I think so, I don't think damage will matter this game. If a winner reanimates, they win regardless. I draw for sure. I think they have a outburst. I guess they might play around force. Yeah, I'll keep outburst. Because they have in hand force of negation. Yeah, easy game for them. I mean, let's see if they have force of negation, although it's very likely, of course. Yeah, GG. We're in our op my keep, so I can't cast force, and then they and then I just lose. Alright, we do have uh, six cards. And we have uh, four bolts. What else do we have to cut? 
maybe just yeah fable iteration just like i did earlier bit two fables no i think fable iteration makes sense yeah you don't really want to top load too much so i guess iteration maybe mystical dispute isn't good they do a force of will force of negation too Maybe two fables is is the thing to cut, yeah. Let's cut two fables. Although Fable puts Archon in the graveyard. But Archon doesn't win anymore. Like my opponent would have reanimated, I don't know, 40 power. As far as do anything. Yeah, I guess you know what, well, on the play. Alright, whatever. Yeah. Like as far as it's like a filler, right? I think I'm only on this. We got through the breach. I think like in this struggle games, so having instant speed threat is good. I'll bottom the creativity simply because I want to just dig for lands. Conde. Buongiorno oh, Conte. 40 months. Uh, I think I'll bottom counter spell too, yeah. Now I go art evidence and then I can crack the clue even if I don't draw land. Just go top plane, crack a clue. Reordain. Definitely a card I will be casting in my next uh, modern events. Alright, I feel like I'm too scared of moving. Which is kind of the power of leaving end that kept seven. You can't you can't really move, you just lose the game. You're I play Fable, I'm just dead. They go cycle cycle on top shardless. Just GG. It's not like rhinos where you can try, you know, if they go crashing footfalls, and you're like, sure. I'll still make my plan. Living Gang just kills you on the spot when they do the thing. But if they're stopped in doing the thing, then they you know, don't really have that much interaction. So it's like a more explosive deck, but a much less um, stable deck than rhinos. I think I must crack the clue end of turn. Sure, if they have outbursts or whatever, like you got me. I just like feel like you can't really play around the nuts in the spot, so just accept that. Easy game. Living and uh, always has been a good matchup. Always has has a good match. Has had a good matchup against the creativity, and this is no exception. And again, not having the fairy definitely. Preparing for color rhinos. There's been a, um, I believe, uh, I don't know if it was a challenge or a showcase with um, the four color rhinos, but with the fairy in it. Yeah, it might work.
hard evidence here. Only playing two copies of them, both of them in my opening end. All right, a second Archon. Yeah, his draws is his draws was weak. Let's let's see if it pays out. Hopefully, I draw an top land. Seems to be Team Arinas. I want to draw a normal land. I hate Dwarven Mines so much. My creativity list, I only play three Dwarven Mines. This pot happens way too often. It makes sense to play four here. Because you don't have Ren and six, so. I don't know actually how much that means. No, not having Brandon Six is huge though. Hello, Conte. Buongiorno. Okay, let's see if they go Shardless Agent. No. All right. Here they go Outburst. Oh, Code Rage. Actually, let's go Dwarven Mine, and then Fable. Leave it up, Island, to bluff something, like a Spell Pierce. Total Bridge being an instant means that my opponent can't um, force some negation it for free if I cast it in their turn. Witching Well Island. This reminds me of Pokemon. The Whoa, they didn't have it. Maybe maybe that's creativity though. No, it's not their island. It's just random they didn't draw the cascade spells. Evo's Rhino, maybe. Hmm. I think I just got only one Archon. Could have also discarded a counter spell, though. Maybe that was better. Okay, what did I, what did I do with Prismari Command? Did I just? It just only do one mode here. Oh no, they cracked my my clue. Sorry. Anyway, I resolved that thing. That's nice. Oh, that's the fourth word. Man. Let's go and uh, actually though. I'm gonna draw another land. Hmm. Now let's go. Let, let's draw this land. Hand, bottom, exile. Ah, uh, so next turn I can go through the breach backed up by counter spell, maybe.
Yeah, I'll, do I'll double block one of these grinders. Taking zero damage there. Losing only one crab. I think it's okay. I'll do draw two, make a treasure. I don't think they have mystical dispute, or at least they didn't have when I cast Fable. I think they just went for his Mari command instead. Okay, what do I discard now? I really like the fire ice. I don't want to just fire ice those Rhinus tokens. Yeah. By turn, draw a couple of cards. Let the Fable flip. Okay. Birds. Wonder what they had. They might just have like a lot of dead gones and things like that. Just lands. Hmm. Hopefully they don't have another outburst. That would be devastating. That gone? Yep. Yep. Subtlety. That's okay. I don't feel like casting through the breach now. Stop those Rhinos token, go to seven. And then ship up the turn for the next the ship up the game for the next turn. Fading combat. Ice. And ice. I don't think topping a land makes much sense. I was supposed to keep that counter spell instead of one fire ice. Just taking four slash seven there, go to three, and have a protection for the the archon. Draw creativity is also great. There you draw. I think the best play is just creativity for three. Not playing around dispute. Of course, can play around force. I think that's that's it. Honestly, I can only play around like spot removals and stuff like that. I have Dispute actually, can I play around it? The problem is that if I go Creativity for two and they have double removal spell, which is likely, or like even Fire Ice. Yeah, no, I think I need to just play around removal spells. I only have two Arkans in the deck, but that doesn't matter. If they resolve, I win regardless. It's all about like dodging the removal spells. I, I, I can't dodge counter spell. I can only dodge removal spells.
If I go creativity for two on these two, they just go like double removal spell, and that's just much worse. I think. It's kind of like, obviously, you like, oh, you have this putiness, so I should have done that way. But like, you know, we thought about it. It's not that. I was like, oh, I didn't expect that. So I just played around uh, a hand of uh, Fire Ice that gone instead of a hand of Dispute. I think by the way the game went, it was likely they had removal spells in hand. Well, they can bounce the crab in response. With that gone. That gone has two modes. Their hand was exactly dispute removal spell, only one, then I could have done that way. It's just that, you know, what was I playing around? Basically. I think the, the big mistake though was uh, when I discarded counter spell instead of fire ice. I should have kept counter spell or fire ice. I think. Maybe also I should have discarded through the breach. Uh, Archon is just that I didn't have creativity at the time. I just drew it last turn. All right, let's look for a third land. Will I be in Vegas? Uh, only if Wizards uh, takes me as a um, final show of the um, of the Sunday. That happens, then yes, I will be. If not, I will not. I'm happy to draw the the land there. I think. Sorry, I meant the flash storm there. I think. Uh, so long. I went creativity for four only to play around double removal spells. You don't need uh, to have four cards in your in your deck necessarily. And that'll leave. Oh no, I'm not sure. Okay, so they have uh, they have blood money. Eh? They have blood money in hand. So I am fetching basic island with this. Nice, very good draw there. This is the island fable, yeah. I go shardless cascade, obviously I will go to force. Probably pitching dispute. If they go blood moon, do I care? Wow, they didn't ice me in upkeep. I just wanna be big brain with that, not ice in upkeep, and then just backfires you. Hey, wow. They don't even have red source. I wonder if they have or if they just didn't fetch with red for this. Surprise. I think I want to get rid of two breaches. I think they're stuck with land, so I like to dispute this. Just to the die them two draws as well as me the nine in the um treasure. I'll discard two breaches. And if I draw the Archon now it does nothing, but that's okay. I 
I only had two Archons in my deck the last game. I can just get land drops here. This is the classic game where we resolve Fable and we have a million interaction spells, so we're gonna win the game. Obviously, resolving Fable is is not that easy. No, oh, I didn't fetch for mountain. Anyway. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, not much to say. I think that Grimming Iterations Fable makes sense. Maybe on the play, you want to trim two, uh, two Fire Rise, and on the draw, you want to trim Iteration Fable. This hand is really bad. It has the classic two Dwarven Mines, which I seem to draw with more than other lands I'll keep four spells three lands if I mulligan four spells three hand and mulligan the deck which I do probably okay that's good it doesn't let me uh, put this in tapped on turn four but better than a second arc huh I'll say. It have my land. Oops, I called the second Archon. It's unfortunate. Ooh, is that a fire ice? It is. It was Charlotte, so we'll force it. And then, uh, wow, they don't have a third land. Nice. Very, very nice. Draw. Okay. Play my top land. See if they managed to draw a third land. They did. And the deck plays 25 lands, like 21 plus 4 Lorenz revealed. Granted, you do have 5 top lands, but still. Very, very high land count. Draw. You got more Pyrise? You don't. Okay. Now, point of question, Footfalls is coming in. I think I should just pass here. And go probably Arcus Force. Yeah, Arcus Force, I think makes sense. Let's see if they have Violent Outburst end of turn. If they do, I must counter that one. Otherwise, it attacks, whereas this Footfalls here does not attack. Especially not drawing Flusser Stones this game also hurts. Let's hope they don't have um, their own force. They don't. Okay, nice. They'll resolve with that one. That's a lot of threats. Very many threats. If you go through the bridge Archon, I deal 12 damage. 
And I said it out loud in bowls. They lose to Orion Stoke and I gain, yeah, I think like that's my play. I don't want to dirt around with a Fable plus counter spell. I think like I must go for the, um, the big spell here. Alright. GG. Yeah, these Cascade decks are a terrible matchup for uh for creativity, just like just like it was last month or two months ago. This count matchup is close, not too good. I don't think this deck has particular that does anything different than the other one. Very, very similar matchup across the board, which are it's not very good right now. Unfortunately Unfortunately the deck just struggles. Like this was the 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 matchup matrix of uh of the PT and creativity had a forty eight percent which win rate which is whatever but if you look at the stats it's really bad against the three best decks five eleven against Fractus Scam one four against Monogreen Tron two four against Team of Rhinos. Zero one against Living Gain, only because it's small sample size. Like it only beats four color Omnath, which it's not really a deck that you should expect at your decent level tournament. So that's the problem with the deck right now, and I don't think that the ease of version changes much. What's creativity good versus four color? Inevitability, I believe it's the word. I don't want to tap their land simply just because I want to draw third land too. Okay. We're looking for a <laughs> land, just like always with this deck so far. It's always struggle to get lands. 22, very low for me. 22, no ran and 6, super low for me. I'll counter, no. Oh, actually, I can't counter that one. Yep, man, if I had on top land, I just, I feel like I've lost so many games because of freaking Dwarven Mine. Huh? I lost so many games because I had this land. I hate this land so much. Obviously, you need it, but come on. The counter spell on the ring or riot or whatever they play. So if I counter this and they go Azusa, if I counter this and they go Dryad, what can they do? I think I'll let this resolve. They search the Grazer. Wow, they lost. Crazy. This never happens, though. 
Like, this happens all in Magic Online. I feel like in paper, I've never won the games this way. All right. A Pine Moon. Stir's Colding seems fine. It counters a lot of their creatures, actually. Brothers Hood. Better than Force of Negation. Yeah. Maybe hard evidence is bad. They didn't expect creativity to play counter spell only spell peers. I guess. What if I had remand? Boom. Mana leak. Mana leak. Creativity has played mana leak, even the one of. Yeah, it happens way too often that I win on Magic Online against Hamulet this way. Magic Online is a platform for. Uh, Threat test. Actually, I don't know what to feel about Brothers at the end. Eh? Not saying it's good. Although, obviously, if my opponent started like last turn with a couple of amulets, then then it's good. Wow. Those two cards are extremely good. I think I like them both. Pine Moon and the uh, Stone Rain, the Urza Saga. A uh, Pine Moon once again. Whoa, Swan Song. I did not expect that. Once again, better than Blood Moon or Mid-Mags of the Moon. I think that those cards are now worse in the metagame than Alpine Moon. Now they, can, now they can do double amulets, but we have Stir Scolding, and then we follow it up by killing both amulets. I feel like we're gonna win the game thanks to these two cyber cards. Actually, these three cyber cards. You got counter, sure. I mean, they had to have it. Yeah, they're gonna go like bounce land, play a creature, and then we go Stir Scolding. That's probably not a bounce land. What do they do? Another amulet? Please. Hog? Hog? Nice. All right, all right, all right. Man, did they, they have six too quickly. I couldn't, I couldn't take a screenshot. Uh, zoom. I don't know, it, it's, it doesn't feel as good as taking a, a proper screenshot. Ah, thank you everybody for watching again. I don't think that the deck was uh, particularly good. Uh, but, you know, if you enjoyed the video until now, and you like my honest criticism and not my, uh, how do you say, bait, hope you appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.